Hello, everyone. Welcome to Radio Free Scarrow, episode number 939. I am Stephen in Edmonton. Warren in Edmonton. Chris in Edmonton. Kat in Edmonton. And Erica in Edmonton. For the first time in, uh, well, uh, I don't know how many years. Four. Nine, nine years here, right? That we've actually got together. I think so, All yeah. five of us to record an episode yeah. in Edmonton, not at Galley, mm-hmm. in Edmonton, because Warren's been thwarted by... COVID, COVID and bad weather and, and snowstorms. Yeah. Snowstorms, yes. And Chris, you you shared pictures with us uh, earlier today via Time Hop. From Time Hop, from yeah, I think it was nine years and fourteen years yeah. ago. Oh my God, I think I've aged backwards of according yeah. to that. Yeah, <laughs> both on December twenty seventh. Both on December twenty seventh, uh, which is the day we're recording this. Yes, yeah, so. happy anniversary to my mom and dad, who are both Doctor Who fans. <gasps> That's Yay. right. Mm-hmm. Yes, because Fangirl Prime and your yep. dad and not Fan that, Dad Prime, Fan Dad Prime, because he has that on the back of his Verity T shirt. That's right. Yeah, and him a Fan Dad Prime. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And so Cat's here too. Hi, Cat. Hi. Hi. <laughs> 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 the, the, the new voice of Verity is Cat because mm-hmm. you're like leading the charge now as Verity. Uh, I would say the new voice of Verity. No, you're recording tomorrow though. Yep. But this will will come out will come out before this on Sunday or after. I don't know what I don't know what Verity does, Verity does anymore. I gotta be honest. It'll come it'll come out on Wednesday unless you're a patron. Oh really? Oh, so I'm a patron, <laughs> so I'll hear it probably the next day. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well. Uh, there's not going to be any news on this podcast because there's no news to be had. But if there was, you would have heard it before the opening credits. So instead, we're all gathering here today to play the third edition of Trivia, Mr. Fibule. Trivia. Trivia, Mr. Fibule. Trivia. It's a trivial pursuit question. I used to memorize trivial pursuit questions so I could win. Trivia, Mr. Fibule. Trivia. You know, I've got to tell you, I won't be needing you in my quiz team. Trivia, Mr. Fibule. Trivia. I can't believe our lives depend on some stupid pub quiz. Yeah, uh, yes, it's trivia, Mr. Fibule. Uh, for the third time, we are going to be using the official Doctor Who quiz book written by accomplished Doctor Who author Jacqueline Rayner, published in 2014. Uh, so the answers therein go uh, up to the end of the Matt Smith era, but include the casting of Peter Capaldi as the 12th Doctor. Okay. So none of his episodes, but he has been cast when this book was coming out. Uh, for this edition of the quiz, we'll be doing 10 rounds for the first time, not during a heat wave. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Phew. Uh, featuring mm-hmm. questions and categories all throughout the book. Each round will have three questions per test and grouped into what this this book considers easy, medium, and hard. Yeah, well, we all know how that goes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, each correct answer is Was worth I last both one times? I, you know I what, think I Warren, was. I'm going to have to consult the scoring on that one, but let me get through my script first. Right. Uh, <laughs> each, each correct answer is worth one point, and at the end, we'll tally up the points and crown our champions so we can get together nine years again from now <laughs> on December 27th, whatever year it is, and uh, do this again. So 2032. 2030, thank you, Perfect. math expert Chris. Uh, we'll go in this order. It'll be Chris. I think you'll find Eric, two times. I'm winner math expert Chris. <laughs> oh, you, I, I, you know what? I think uh, in now that I think about it, uh, back in eight six five when we first did this, Chris did indeed win. Warren finished second. Oh, I thought way. I was last. No, I Kat, wanted to make it a tight three of last. Cat was third. Erica was a distant fourth. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, and then last time around, uh, the, the scores were a lot lower. <laughs> so I don't know what that means. The but, questions I recall were being, were a lot tougher. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, Chris uh, Chris won with eleven uh, compared to Erica who had seven. Cat was six and five for go. Warren. There There's go. there you go. So your memory wasn't cheating, Warren. You were indeed last at some point, but. Uh, but this is going to be the first. So round one is initially A. Oh, no. Yeah. So for the viewers at home who can't see this, Stephen's <laughs> got the question and stuff 
up on the up on the big screen in the living room at, at least at, the category i do yeah and if you're watching will, on, will it will be the question as well or just the category just the uh just the category Different. even still no. that's great that, that helps to uh not forget what exactly what we're working right? with. and if you're watching this on youtube there's no video version but there's the telesnaps john kira sponsored telesnaps on this on the youtube version. Our, our youtube coverage is uh, uh represented by a kitten a kitten academy on, on, <laughs> yeah. the other, on the other screen here try not to get distracted by the cats <laughs> Promise nothing. I promise nothing. No, yeah. absolutely not. All right. So you know how this works. Uh, I, you know, the, the, for example, what A is the sacred beast of Peladon? Agador. And you would say Agador. Mm-hmm. That's not your question. That was the test. So here's Azrael, your, duh. Yeah. <laughs> here's your question, Chris. This is the easy round. What A are creatures made from living fat? Adipose. Adipose is correct. Erica. Uh-huh. <laughs> that one was easy. <laughs> what A is the planet Adric comes from? Alzarius. Alzarius is correct. Look at me. I'm not even checking the back. I just know these are correct. <laughs> well, I would hope so. Yeah. You're, you're keeping the score there somehow, yes? I am. What, yes, I no, <laughs> no, this is all for fun, Chris. No score is being kept. I can assure you it's not for fun. Yeah. Cat, <laughs> uh, what A is the constellation the sleepers are from? Um. Hmm. I knew the other two questions. I want one of those ones. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If it makes you feel any better, I don't know your question. Yeah. No idea. <laughs> I do. Um, <laughs> Sorry. I'll say Aries. I don't know. It's uh, Andromeda. Andromeda. Uh, coincidentally, uh, from the mysterious planet, serial code 7. A. So it even oh, is boy. that a constellation or is that just a star? And it's a constellation according to Sabalom Glitz, right? and not to be confused with A for Andromeda. That's true. Even though this is a friend. Yeah. From, uh, <laughs> uh, Warren, here's your question. Yes. What A is the ruler of Chloris? Oh, God. Ruler of Chloris. Did Chris, we actually... Chris apparently knows Chris it. is a good boy who knows the answer. Yeah, I know. Because his waving I, arm would indicate. I, 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 know <laughs> I have no idea what that is. No. I don't even know if that's classic or new. Chloris Leachman? It's not Chloris Leachman. Chris, what's... It's Lady Adrasta. Lady Adrasta is played by the late Maya Francis. I yep. still don't remember Swat. who that is. Oh, yeah. creature from the pit. She, that's, oh, that's why I don't know, because it's terrible. Oh! Yes, but, but How dare. you have an affinity for Lady Adrasta. Yeah. That's true, I do, but I do too, only right. now do I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> We'll be doing a commentary of that later tonight, Warren. <laughs> no, we will Surprise. not. I'll be going home. No, you won't. <laughs> All right, second round. This is the medium difficult question. Chris, uh, what A is the horse that goes back, that goes from 18th century France to a spaceship and back? What A is the horse? Oh, what was his name? Arthur? Arthur is wow. correct. Yes. Not Girl, on the, girl on the fireplace. Girl on the fireplace. Um, look at me now. Now that I've started to doubt myself, better look at the answers mm-hmm. now. Okay. We're, we're, yeah, I wasn't definitely not 100% on that one. Uh, you are correct, though, thankfully. Erica, your uh-huh. question. Uh, what A are the eye-like aliens who want Prisoner Zero returned to them? Oh, um... Atraxi? Correct. Atraxi is correct. Also the name of the horse that drowns in the never ending story. I'm uh, really glad that I just said it's not Artax because Artex, it was just like right. it reminded me. That will not be an answer to this question in, in this <laughs> book, by the way. Uh, Kat, uh, what A is the king whose cup is stolen by Lady Christina de Souza? Poor cat. Oh, that's... Wow. It's like it switches from easy to medium right that in between Kat like, and me on the couch. That is yeah. weird. Um, I'm just going to say Arthur again. Yeah. Athelstan. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. The well-known the King rolls, Athelstan. Yeah. Rolls off the tongue. Athelstan. That's, I, that's <laughs> medieval history. Athelstan. It's what I'm studying. Oh, I no. should know that. Is it actual? That's an actual King's name. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, wow. So you didn't know the answer, but knew what the, answers the answer was when mm-hmm. the answer was spoken. Yeah. The, the context Whereas of the I answer. Yeah. I was, yeah. Well, actually, I didn't know yeah. either one. Well, that gives you zero points. Yeah. Um, you get a ghost I'm completely point. completely ignorant if it makes feel I think a ghost point it. for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Warren, here's yours. Okay. Uh, what A is used to poison the Sensorite's aqueduct? Uh, arsenic? Atropine. Ah. Yeah. No, I uh, don't know. No, atropine and old lace either. Um, good uh, good thing we're going on to the hard ones now. Wait, now we get to the hard <laughs> ones. I see now why the scores in the last game were a little lower. Here we go. What A is the goddess worshipped by the people of Atlantis? A. The people of Atlantis. The people of Atlantis. You got three different Atlantises uh, to, uh, to yeah. get from here. So, uh, yeah. 
Um, am I allowed to ask for context, like underwater menace versus? No, no, you're not. Absolutely. Oh, oh you're allowed to ask, but nobody's going to answer. Yeah. Yeah. You, may, you may ask. Yeah. Ask the kittens on the camera. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's we'll see what they have to say for him. Okay, I, 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 I'm going to assume it's Time Monster, which I don't want to think about. So right. Ar- Artemis. Amdo. It's Amdo from the Underwater Menace, for what it's worth. Hey, yeah. Sure. That's a dumb name. As spoken mm-hmm. by Peter I wouldn't have gotten Stevens, that anyway, but so, okay. Yeah. Uh, Erica, what A is the name the Tenth Doctor gives to a galaxy before he goes to meet Ood Sigma? This is from the end of time, probably, by the sounds of it. So you may have to recall that episode. If you... from, I don't remember any yeah. of the specials. I don't remember any Ood stuff. So mm-hmm. I am going to say Arthur. Uh, no, Allison. Okay. Yeah. Named a galaxy Allison, apparently, in the end of time. You'd have to go watch the end of time to confirm that, but I'm don't not going to do that. Do that. No, mm-hmm. it's not worth it. Pass. Yeah. All right. Uh, Kat, what A is the planet the Empress is approaching when it crashes into the Hecate? What A? I swear it's like a, I've never seen Doctor Who in my life or something. <laughs> I swear I have. This is one of the greatest Doctor Who episodes ever made. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> Nightmare yeah. of Eden. Oh, so it's Twin Dilemma. <laughs> yeah. Um, d- d- Arthur. No. <laughs> Azure. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Well, they probably picked up some Vraxo and. Uh, Warren, to round this round out, uh, what A is a rare mineral used to make space beacons? I have <laughs> no idea. Rare mineral to make space, space beacons. Space beacons. Um, astromechanical paste. I have no clue. <laughs> Argonite. Mining Argonite with Milo Clancy. I did That's not know that, God. but... Well, zero for three. Good <laughs> no, I'm sad well done. Everyone is doing well. <laughs> Look at this. Nothing, nothing good can come from a Space Pirates reference. Oh, Wrong. Everything good. I tried to include a Space Pirates reference in every single one of these rounds. I failed, probably. Um, that ends round uh, one. Chris and Erica each have two points. Cat and Warren have none. It's early. Nil. Don't worry. It's early. It's early. Round two, companions, the third doctor. So this will be about companions of the third doctor. I'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right, Warren. We'll get through this together. Chris, your easy question. Who is Sarah Jane pretending to be when she first meets the doctor? Her aunt, Lavinia Smith. Her aunt, Lavinia Smith. Just double checking that, of course, you're right. He even says that, her aunt, comma, Lavinia Smith, or as we would say, you don't get Canada, extra points for that. And... <laughs> you don't need them. Nope. Nope. Erica, uh-huh. who uh, I will remind everyone is tied uh, currently with Chris. Um, not, not unless she gets this one right. Uh-huh. Uh, what does the doctor use to clear Mike's mind from Boss's mind conditioning? Can you read the question again? What does the doctor use to clear Mike's mind from boss's mind conditioning? You know, if we had been more up on doing freaking lazy Doctor Who, Mm -hmm. we would be up to that episode and I would have seen it recently, but we have been so lazy lazy. that I haven't seen that story in years. How how close close to the Green Death are you? uh, We're we're watching it. We watched episode (laughs) one last uh, couple months ago. Yeah, Um, I am going to say... Uh, the headphones and music. No, it's the uh, Metabilis Crystal. Oh, of course it is. Uh, spoilers for uh, mm-hmm. episodes. I, I, I think you mean and say alcohol. Metabolis. Yeah. Metab- <laughs> metabolis, sorry. Mm-hmm. It is spoken as Metabolis. Met- 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 <laughs> There's a new one. Uh, <laughs> Wake up, babe. New yep. pronunciation just dropped. Yep. Uh, Navity. Uh, Kat, what rank does Elizabeth Shaw hold in the parallel Earth? What rank does she hold? Oh, yeah. Ooh. Mm-hmm. I think I know that one. I swear I've seen Doctor Who. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. It's a good I have. show. It's a good show, Kat. Doctors Who. I recommend it. Yeah. Lots of great yeah. episodes. Mm. Too much R flag. It's all just. Mm. I know you've been focusing on other media. That's why I only watch Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah, I can't. For this. Doctor Who and sports. Yeah. Yeah. Like, why are you watching mm-hmm. other shows? It's just, it's just... Says the guy who isn't answering any questions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Right. Uh-huh. But I know most of them. Despite what they have in the <laughs> well, book. I guess you're the best boy then. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. Um, I'll say, like, I don't know, Sergeant. Section, Section leader. leader. Oh, wow. Yeah. Mm. But she wanted to be a scientist. Um, anyway. I feel like the, this third doctor round is playing to uh, against my strengths, at least. <laughs> I don't know how Kat feels about I that. I don't have any strengths, yeah. so at least you got that going for you. Eh, 
Joker. That's true. We'll find out, Warren. We'll find no, out when you're, uh, you're not you're not the biggest third Doctor fan. That's right. No, I'm, I'm coming come around. around a you come around bit. a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Which you know came around from like utterly hating him. Yes, to, uh, it's true. That <laughs> yeah. the bar was low. <laughs> uh, Warren, what title does the Doctor bestow on Joe when introducing her to King Peladon? Uh, mm-hmm. Lady Joe. Is it Princess Josephine? Princess Josephine of Tardis. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, wow. That's right, Warren. One for four. Glad you Doing flew uh, across a time zone to be here. <laughs> yeah, it's really worth it. Well done. Uh, Chris, here's your medium difficulty question. Who asks Benton to join her in a fertility dance? Ooh. Somebody with bad taste. <laughs> Fertility dance. Fertility dance. Fertility dance. It's the demons. Not the safety dance. The fertility <laughs> dance. Um. Oh, what's her name? The white witch. Do I do I need her name? We'll need a name. Uh, need a name. Dang, nab it. Uh, Hawthorne. Us oh, Hawthorne is correct. Wow. Well done, Chris. Well, I'm done. pretty sure I'm not getting any of these. Are you sure? Well, I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten any of these. Uh, pretty yeah, me either. Sure. I can't confirm. Third uh, Doctor Man. Away, yep. I still haven't even seen all of his stories. Uh. Well. This is this is gonna be fun. Mm. <laughs> Which two third doctor companions oh do, we, do we never see enter the TARDIS? Um Well, it depends on your definition of companion. It does. Mm. It does. And I don't know what Jack Rayner's definition of companion is, so I'm going to say Liz Shaw. And I mean, we definitely see Joe. We definitely see the Brigadier. Um Third Doctor Companions. I haven't gotten to the Sarah Jane Smith ones yet, but I assume she's in the TARDIS because they go back in time. Um, maybe we never actually see her walk in. I don't remember. Um, who else is a Third Doctor Companion? That's pretty uh, much it, unless you go through various. Uh, yeah, unit like s- s- Mike Yates. Correct. Mm-hmm. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Liz Companion. And Mike Yates. Yep. Mega side eye. Right. And you see Benton in there in the three doctors. Three right. Yes, I remember well. Benton I was inside. I actually knew that. <laughs> those, are asso- those are associates at best. Yeah. Uh, right. Where are we at here? Uh, third, but there we are. Oh, it's got to uh, wake the uh, screensaver there. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> Thank you. Just to make sure that you're remembering round two, Companions of Third Doctor. It's important. Thanks to this. Yep. You don't want it to turn off. <laughs> no, I know. Uh, if I was smart, I would have turned off the screensaver. I wasn't smart. <laughs> Instead, we can, uh, I know, we, uh, what was it, Singapore? I don't know what that was. Uh, uh, anyway. Dubai, I think. Dubai. Kat, um, what role does Mike Yates assume to infiltrate global chemicals? A lot of Mike Yates content here. Mm-hmm. Just a little bit. Yeah. R.I.P. R- 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 Richard R- Franklin. Yeah. Um, let's say a security guard. A man from the ministry. Oh, no. <laughs> That's amazing. Spoiler alert for the Green Death. Yeah, we're just, we're just going to watch the whole thing. Just do lazy Doctor Who based on the questions <laughs> off this book. Mm-hmm. Uh, all right, Warren. Yeah. Let's break the goose egg, Warren. Nah, I doubt it. Who does a later Doctor give Liz's unit pass to? <laughs> I know that one. A later doctor. Uh, so one after the third doctor is what we're looking at here. Who does a later think, doctor give? Just Liz's think like a physicist. The quiz's favorite line says it. Uh, I'm gonna say Osgood, Ace ah. in oh. Battlefield. Yes, sir. Battlefield. Wow. Hey, I guess would Day of the Doctor even be in this book? Uh, yes, it would have been. Okay. Yep. 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 Day of the Doctor just at the very end of it. Yep. Uh, all right, Chris, smarty pants, Chris, uh, this is your hard question. Uh, what is the second favor Joe asks her uncle for? Second favor. Second favor. Yep. Oh, there's probably no chance I'm going to remember this. Okay. Um, Yep. No pass. No pass. Pass. Uh, pass. Uh, unless unless she's pony. asking for a pass. She no. Asks for a pony. Uh, I would have required this exact wording to official status as a United Nations Priority One Research Complex for the Whole Wheel Community. Again, spoilers for the Green Death. Um, <laughs> so that's uh, at the end of the Green Death. Wow. I mean, yeah. How did I? How, wow. how did you miss that? Are, are, you, are you just dumb, Chris? Call yeah. yourself yeah. a fan. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I'm just gonna go back uh, back out and shoot me. Oh, shoot myself. Really? No. I mean, all these fake fans. Uh, all right, Erica. Are you mm-hmm. ready? for this mm-hmm. what magazine does sarah jane work for 
That one I know. know. This one, yeah. This uh, I'm pretty sure I don't know, and I probably won't even think it's familiar when Chris finally says it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, uh, t- 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 uh, I know this is not it, but I'm going to say it anyway. It's the magazine. Oh, no, that might be the answer for another question. Never mind. I'm not going to say that. I'm just going to make something up. Okay. Uh, okay. The Global News Daily. No. The it, Metropolitan. Metropolitan is correct. Okay. Yep. That sounds fake. It does. Well, it is. it is fake. All right, well, there you go. <laughs> it is just, she, the, the, she claimed to write for The Guardian at one point? No. The, 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 I don't the TV, think so. the TV does, show is completely fake. I don't know fake. about that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. 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 Well, she, is, she, is she reading The Guardian and the Canada Company? Maybe that's where I'm that conflating, yes. yeah. In the opening credits. I think she is yeah. reading The Guardian in the opening credits. Well, she reads it because she doesn't write for it, maybe is what Okay. Yeah. Kat, what present... Did Doris give the brigadier in Brighton to mark her gratitude? Quote unquote. Whoa. Yeah, I know. I <laughs> know. Go, go, a little Doris. spicy up in here, yeah. yeah. Remember, this is a family podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Used to be. <laughs> um. Mark her gratitude. I don't know. Pass. There's a watch. Give him a watch. That just shouts great. Yep. But not a stopwatch. Not a stopwatch. <laughs> no. Or an Apple Watch. All right, Warren. Rounding right. this out. We're rounding this whole category out. What is the Brigadier's call sign at the time of the first World Peace Conference? Mm. Which I believe is in Mind of Evil, I yeah. think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's Greyhound to Trap One. So I'm going to say it's Trap One. It's actually Jupiter. They hadn't uh, they hadn't it. formalized the uh, the dog racing ones um, by Boo. that point. So, yep. This book hates me. Well, <sighs> and you probably hit the book too. Oh, yeah. that's a given. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Jacqueline and Rainer will be getting angry letters from Warren uh, <laughs> because um, only, once again, only Chris and Erica got points <laughs> in that round, but that's fine. It's fine. We're well, doing at least fine. Cats with me in Suffering Town. <laughs> yeah, yes. we're having fine. Uh, yeah. We're having fine. Um, no, you're right the first time. Ra- <laughs> we're not having fun. <laughs> we're having fine. <laughs> round three. Could you say that again? I feel like we're going to be saying that a lot. Mm-hmm. Well, let's find out. Chris, here's your question. There's no explanation of this category, so I'm just reading you the questions. All right. I don't even know what's going on here either. So, <laughs> in the language of the Gamma Forest, how does Melody Pond translate? River Song. River Song is Song River. I'll give it to you. Um, mm. uh, Erica, uh-huh. on Trocken, <gasps> what monster name means a fly trapped in honey? Oh, uh, brain freeze. Um, the Melker. Melker. Oh my gosh, that one I knew for a while. Wow. I was gonna say Melchior, and I was like, no, <laughs> okay. that's nope. not right. Just say that's the Wisconsin accent <laughs> yeah, version. Yeah. Of yeah. Let me just tell you, you don't want to milk a Melker. That's that's <laughs> no, a bad idea. Oh, very bad. Dangerous. Bears. No, without the proper equipment. Uh, Cat. What phrase is carved on the oldest rock face in history, revealed by the TARDIS translation circuits? Another what, one I know. What phrase? Unfair. TARDIS translation circuits. Oldest rock. Oh, I remember now. Isn't Crit- that a River Song episode? Yep. Yeah, that's why I don't remember it. Mm-hmm. Um, hello, sweetie. Yep. Hello, sweetie. Hello, sweetie. Rex. <laughs> yep. Nice work. It. What uh, else is River that, Song? As, as, that's just logicking it, <laughs> right? That's not losing it. That's logic. First point. Logic. First point. Yay. Yay. Warren, yeah, yeah, yeah. time for your first <laughs> yeah, point. Yeah, you bet. Here we go. Let's pop that cherry. Warren's having fun. Well, so, where <laughs> where do the doctor and Rose find writing that is so old the TARDIS can't translate it? Oh, uh, that is in the Satan Pit in the Impossible Planet, but I don't remember what the name of the damn station is. Uh, I will need the name of the station. Oh, mm. God. Um, it's not Shining Time Station, I'll tell you that right <laughs> Station 9. I have no idea. Oh, Boy, you flip, flip that 9 around. Oh. It's a 6, and it's Sanctuary Base 6. Sanctuary. Oh, wow. I was going to say Bully Base 1, but that was... At least uh, I knew the story was... Pure, uh, yeah, yeah, Mars. Yeah, Warren's, Warren's zeroing in on his yeah. target. One mm. uh, By the end of this, I'll get one of these questions right Oh, now, boy, sure. oh, boy. <laughs> All right, Chris. Uh, when Martha is searching for the Osterhagen key, what language does she hear the Daleks using? Exterminare in German. German it is. I believe they're speaking Deutsch, Deutsch ex machina. Deutsch ex, yes. <laughs> uh, Erica, mm-hmm. the master often chooses aliases that are translations of master. Oh. What names does he adopt that are A, Latin, and B, 
Greek. So we need two. What the uh, frick? Two <laughs> different. That is ridiculous. Yep. Wow. For what it's worth, they are Ouch. mentioned in the episodes. Oh, I'm themselves. sure they are, yeah. but I like I'm not a huge master fan in that like I don't know all of his uh or her tricks and I also don't know squat about Latin or Greek. Right. So I am I mean you like Shakespeare though. I thought that was what that's <laughs> yeah. Written. Okay. I don't understand. In Middle English. Right. <laughs> it's not even Middle it's just English. Master with an E mm. on the end is what uh... I, I don't I'm not even gonna guess. Magister. Which is the demons. The demons, okay. And Thascales. <laughs> oh, that is a monster. What a giveaway. Sure. I was gonna say they're probably I'm they're gl- probably Pertwee stories. I'm yeah. glad I didn't even guess. They are. All right, Kat. Silence will fall is the usual translation of a prophecy regarding Trenzalore. What does Dorium say would be a better translation? Um, hmm. Hmm. I think it's perfectly fine. I'm not sure why we're <laughs> going with him. Um, I don't know. Silence, silence will conquer. Oh, silence must fall oh yeah eldred must live silence must fall um (laughs) warren yeah here we go boy oh boy medium difficulty you know what's great the anticipation of failure i know (laughs) it's great uh in the language of the gamma forest what word means mighty warrior oh uh doctor bing Mm. warren's on the board Warren's on the board nice all right into the hard round, folks. Here we go. Can you say that again? The kittens are nursing. <laughs> Chris? Hello. What does the name of the, of the Norwegian beach Dalig Ulf Stranden mean in English? Bad Wolf Bay. Bad Wolf Bay. I, that's, that's a hard, hard one. one. How is that hard? One. Come on. What? That's a hard one. I know. Because mm. everyone who, who, every true fan who would have watched it would have been in tears during that scene uh, and wouldn't remember the details yes. of it. But I we, was so sniffly that we, you know, I just would have forgotten. We are clinical nerds. Since we're emotionless mm-hmm. zombies. Yep. yep. Erica, uh-huh. from, the sculpt, from the scriptures of the Veltino, huh? what does the name a crop tour mean in English? <laughs> I don't know what any of <laughs> the that The hell is a Veltino? <laughs> I don't know. Can you spell Veltino? V-E-L-T-I-N-O. And Del cropped, Pino. can you crop tour K R O P? Oh, with the K. That sounds like right. cream cheese. O R crop tour. In the language of the Valtini, what is crop tour? Crop tour. Yeah, two words. Yeah, I'm Stupid. gonna say that's what it is. Doctor bitter pill. Sure. Bitter what is pill. that from? I actually, I don't recall I, that. My, one. No, no. I have no idea. I feel like I feel like a lot of these are modern. Uh-huh. I'm gonna say Rings of Akaton because we all tried to forget it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I like Rings of Akaton, and that doesn't ring a bell. No. But it, mm. the crop tour rings a bell, and I, mm. I don't. Okay. Don't remember. Sorry. I'm a bad fan. Uh, <laughs> we, we'll Google it at the break. We will. I just hope somebody well, said, crop tour. Yeah. Ooh, at least that one was Ooh. legitimately hard. Yeah. That fit in the category. Yeah. 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 Uh, Kat, what monster name literally means the shadows that melt the flesh? Fashionerata. Fashionerata is nice. Correct. Crop tour. Crop tour. <laughs> Maybe they More misspelled like crop tour. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or croc tour. Yeah. All right, Warren. All right. Whose grandfather translated the Viking inscriptions found in St. Jude's crypt? That's another proper hard one. Yeah. Mm. Or, or is it? Or is it, yeah. Whose uh, grandfather? Uh, Susan's grandfather? No, that mm. would be the doctor, and that would I be know. wrong. Reverend Wainwright. Oh, yeah. obviously, Reverend Wainwright. Ooh. From the Curse, Curse of Fenric. Is that Fenric? Okay. Oh, that's why I don't know it. Curse of Fenric, one of the greatest Doctor Who stories ever made. You bet. Mm. Whatever you say. Anyway, uh, hey, look, everyone got some points in that round, and uh, that's good news for the purposes <laughs> that's of That's one fun. way of putting it, yeah. Yep, Chris still <laughs> leads with seven, Erica has four, Cat with two, Warren with one. Still plenty of time. We're only on to round four, which is... Leave me, Doctor. Save yourself. That's what the category name is. Uh, I'm just going to read you the questions because it doesn't say what the category is, so you're going to have to figure it out for yourself. Here it is. Crop crop tour. Crop tour. (laughs) Chris, who ejects herself and her son-possessed husband out of an airlock on the SS Pentalion? Crap. 42. Uh, What the heck is her name? That's the name of the story. Michelle Collins' character. That's the name of the actor. (laughs) Uh, You've earned yourself a ghost point, if nothing else. Yep. Yeah. Damn it, Chibnall. Yeah, <laughs> I know. It's not 
Ranskor Avkolos is her name. That's not <laughs> it is not It's a more Avkolos. common name uh, for Um I do not remember the character's name. Uh, Bonnie. Kath McDonnell. Sure. sure. Kath McDonnell. Crop tour. Crop tour. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, Erica, mm-hmm. what is the job of the woman who sacrifices herself to save the doctor from the entity on midnight? She's a... <sighs> I don't know what the terminology is, but she's basically a flight attendant. Uh, hostess, flight hostess, attendant, okay. we'll call it, yeah. As, as seen uh-huh. in the, the most recent episode of Midsummer Murders that we saw. Um, yep, that's the, <laughs> that's the only reason that that actually came, <laughs> that I remembered that. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't have. Yep. Thank you, Midsummer Murders. It helps to watch shows <laughs> just to spot Doctor Who actors for moments like these. Right, Kat? Sure. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if uh, Con O'Neill has ever been in Doctor Who. So he's we, been in class. He's been in class. That's right. He was in class. He was, yep. remember? Because when we saw him on Midsummer Murders, we were looking oh, up his right. filmography and we were like, oh, right, he was in class. In class. Just a Midsummer about Murders the, is on my screen. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's no FMD. It's a pretty good episode yeah. and he's delightful. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's um, Edward's uh, right hand man until he's is not. He? Is, is he? he? Yeah, he yeah, got yeah, okay. yeah. He's also in Chernobyl and he's great in that too. Mm hmm. Uh, I've lost track of which question I'm asking you. Um, uh, who deliberately runs in front of a car to save the world from the Reapers? That one. Deliberately runs in front of the car. I know that one, so the next one I will not. To save the world <laughs> from the Reapers, cat. Reapers. No, no, I know the, I know it's Father's Day. Save the world. From the Reapers. Um, <laughs> That's very helpful. I know. <laughs> yeah, he's so real helpful. All I yeah. can tell you is just read. It's not, it's not Crop Tour. No, it's not Crop Tour. <laughs> not that much. It's not Arthur. I think Crop Tour is actually from uh, Impossible Planet, Satan Pit, actually. Now that I think about it. Mm. Bitter Pill. I think it is. That could course. be. Yeah. That could be. Sure. Yeah, rings a bell. Have we vamped enough to give to Cat? Yeah. yeah. We're, we're um, Pete Tyler? Pete Tyler's yep. correct. Nailed it. Yep. Who else got hit by a car in Father's Day? Everyone. It wasn't much of a bloodbath, um, at least once everything was sorted out. But uh, Warren? Yes. Who steps in front of a lorry so her past self will turn left? Oh, that's uh, Donna Noble. Obviously. Donna Noble is obviously. I mean, yeah. Is that right. an easy one? Yeah, that, that was the easy one. Okay, that was good. easy one. Yep. Uh, crop tour. Yep, Impossible Planet Satan Pit. All right. Got well, there in the end. That explains why I didn't remember yeah, it. Uh, barren planet with no atmosphere. There you are. All right, Chris, are you ready? Sure. For your second round question. In round the, medium. Leave me, doctor. Yep, save yourself. Uh, who blows up himself and the vampirized Venetian girls with gunpowder? Uh, I will need a name. You want a name. Yep. Yeah, I can the see f- his face. I, yep. Yeah, mm-hmm. the father of the... Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Played a pirate captain at Game of Thrones, too. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah never yeah. watched I know, Game of Thrones best season, he too. He was good in that. Yeah. <sighs> Oh, Vincenzo. I don't remember. Guido. 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 Sarducci. Guido Sarducci. Was that his name? Guido Sarducci? No, it's not. No. That's a that's from ancient S- comedian from SNL. the 70s. Oh, mm-hmm. that is an, oh, yeah. No, I think I know who it is. Erica, uh-huh. who pushes the second doctor out of the way of a Dalek's weapon on Scaro? Huh. Yeah. I'm certain that I don't know. I can guarantee you the pictures didn't move when we watched <laughs> yep, it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I know for sure that I have quote unquote seen it, but I don't remember well enough to be able to know the answer. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Crop door. <laughs> um, uh, Jim. <laughs> Jim Jim the savior it was Edward Waterfield <sighs> see and I was yeah. trying to think like what the heck was Victoria's dad's yeah, name yeah. and I couldn't and I couldn't even come up with her last name yeah. I was like Wakefield mm-hmm. no I was, I was I trying to go when were they ever on Scar with the second daughter what yeah. mm-hmm. I haven't gotten that far with the animation evil of the Daleks one evil. I know, I've watched half of it well it happens in the second half so uh, that's probably why I missed it <laughs> Uh, Cat, mm-hmm. who deliberately sets off a booby trap on Voga, killing himself and two Cybermen? Um, I don't know, so I'm going to say Raston Warrior Robot. <laughs> it was Lester. Sure. It's played by William Marlowe. Good for um, him. These, was Raston uh, Warrior Robot your go-to last time? Uh, no. No. No one. But <laughs> this is her Unless his name's Arthur. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we, like, these, uh, I, clearly this category yeah. is, uh, 
people who have sacrificed themselves for the doctor, which means they die, which means we don't still remember who no. they are because they're usually one off characters in these also, stories. Also, there are a lot of people that sacrifice themselves yeah. for Many. the doctor. Yeah. 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 All right, Warren. Yes. Uh, who says the doctor knew him at his best as he is about to be killed by weeping angels? Oh, oh, God. You probably know the episode I'm talking oh, about. Oh, I absolutely do. Yeah. It's Time of Angels and Flesh and whatever, the other one, the two of them. Correct, yeah. Uh, that's, but that's I cannot story. remember. It's, it's the military guy. Right, yeah. Who's confessing to him. That's the guy. But I cannot remember his name. No. Another Game of Thrones alum. Another Game Probably. of Thrones alum, yeah. Mm. He was very good in Game of Thrones. And it is. Mm -hmm. Lieutenant. I'm not going to get Sassafras. any of these. I don't know. <laughs> Father Octavia. Right. <laughs> yes. I literally, yes. I just Fighting listened Angel. to the uh, Doctor Who, the Writer's Room episode about the, that two parter. They mentioned him multiple times and I still forgot his name <laughs> again like already. <laughs> I remember the actor being great in it. Yep. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's a great but set of episodes. Super obscene, super obscene, super set of episodes. And a wrong answer. Uh, Chris, hard. this is the hard one. You haven't got a single one in this round yet. Not uh, yet. Who pilots a spaceship off Xerius to save his fellow colonists? Oh, crap. What's his name? Mm -hmm. <sighs> what is his name, I wonder? It's Colony in Space. It's Colony in Space. Um, Serial code H. The guy with the mustache. No, he had, a beard. He, had a, he had a beard, not a mustache. Literally <laughs> everyone in that episode had a mustache. Yes, I know. Yeah. That's the point. <laughs> That's, what, uh, ah, That's the joke. Uh, oh, I can't put the name to the face. Weirdly, it's it says it's Robert Ash, but it also says yeah. Robert, a.k.a. John Ash. And I'm okay. like, was there like, huh. he's played by John Ringwall. He and, lived a uh, double life on the base that right. they didn't talk about in those days, but <laughs> maybe, maybe <laughs> that's at, what it was. At the end of the day, Ash is definitely correct. Ash so. is definitely correct, no. which, uh, which is what you did. That was, that was a hard Ash question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a real crop. You didn't get it, right? I no. did not get no. it. No. Uh, Erica, who cuts the last synestic lock on the Space Ark's transport ship? Is that a real sentence? That is a real <laughs> sentence. Arthur. Rogan. It's still okay. I don't even know what we're talking about. Uh, it's the Ark in Space. I think that's I Arthur's think last be. name. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. so. Mm -hmm. Nobody's it's Dr. Grayla. Seth's little brother. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> mm. uh, Kat, according to Aladon, how long was the final war on Scaro? Ooh. No, wait, I read you the wrong question. I was going to say, that's, that's, that's not a name read question. I the wrong question. Kat, who blows up a Dalek ship and himself above Exelon? John Doe. Lieutenant Galloway. Sure. Yep. Spoilers for Death of the Daleks. Um, Good for him. And Warren, yes. last one of the round. Okay. Which moon-based ice warrior collaborator betrays their plans to Earth, although it means his death when caught? Oh, I did this in the miniscope and I cannot remember his name. I'm going to say mm -hmm. Duncan because that's a good villain name. Oh, it's funny you may say that because Duncan Lamont played Lieutenant Galloway oh, in, in, oh in the previous that's question That's all fascinating. What's the answer? Uh, Terry Scully played the actor, uh, the character Fusion. Ah, I knew a hard one in this death. category. Well I can't done. believe it. Well done. I'm sure I texted him about it while I'm I was taking, watching it for the I'm taking scope. a ghost point for well, that one. Keep your ghost it. points. Uh, mm -hmm. Chris got none, so therefore the 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 waters riz a little bit, a little mm -hmm. riz a little bit. Riz. I don't yeah, have. Lots, lots I, you riz. don't have a lot of riz when you talk like that. This entire room lacks riz. Yeah. I like to say, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Chris, well, we got lots of crop door. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> we got tons of crop door. A whole crop of it, really. <laughs> Chris seven, Erica five, Cat three, Warren two. See, still pretty close. We 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 can all suck equally for the rest of the night, and I think we can probably make two here. The, the next round, round five, we're, we're only halfway through this thing. Initially K. <laughs> Initially K. Good, I like these. Katrina. Yeah. <laughs> Every question. Every question. But vicious sack beatings are up 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll have bigger boards with bigger nails. Chris, here it is. What K are the ancestors of the Daleks? Cowards. Oh, come on. Cowards this is fun. why I like these. Come on with a K. It's easy. It's easy yeah, round. No, but yeah, that's easy a round. That's below easy. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. what K, Erica, can be of Rassilon or to time? Key! There we go. That makes me very happy. <laughs> uh, cat with a K, what K can only be seen by Vincent van Gogh? <laughs> <sighs> that thing had a name, apparently. It had a name. Apparently oh. had a name. Starting with a K? Yeah. 
There's your there's your clue. It starts with a K. <laughs> Helpful. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna say killer chicken. Clucky Joe. <laughs> I think your ghost killer point for chicken cat would be a yep. Uh, Crefeus. Crefeus. Sure. The, I like uh, mine better. I like yours better. Mm-hmm. Too. I like Clucky <laughs> Joe. Uh, Warren, what K are crystalline creatures who enslave the Gons? Crinoids? Oh, Crotons. 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 You are the gods. Leave the learning hole. One of my fanfic crinoids did it. <laughs> Chris, <laughs> medium difficulty. What K is a diamond belonging to Queen Victoria? What? Oh, K? What Kyber crystal. <laughs> Kyber crystal. Yeah, Queen Victoria was a Jedi after all. Jedi. Mm-hmm. Yeah, of course she was. Uh, what K? Name name the diamond, basically. It's a, yeah. yeah. Name name a diamond. What is the name of the diamond? Which is forever, apparently. Starring Sean Connery with a C. <laughs> Shot in Las Vegas with an L. <laughs> Good lord. It's a diamond called Crop Tour. Yeah. <laughs> Even the cast will be the cat. Yeah. Uh-huh. I can't remember. Cashmere. Koinor. Sure. Sure. Yep, Thanks, are. Tooth and Claw. There you are. Tooth and Claw. Got the story right, mm-hmm. Erica. Yep. What K becomes a hero of Defrey Vale High School? K- I know. Yeah. That one I know. Yeah. I don't. Um, Carl? Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> Blows up the school. Everyone loves him. Oh. I couldn't remember. I, oh. School I, reunion. I, yeah. I'm so bad with names. Like, I, mm-hmm. I yeah, so would have I. guessed school reunion and not even been certain about that, but... That's right. Names, no. No, I know. Unless unless it's Crop Tour. Crop Tour. <laughs> You'll never forget that one now. Nope. nope. We are in the case, too, Actually, so you never ask know. Me, ask me tomorrow <laughs> what was know. that funny word we kept saying yesterday. Yep. I won't know. Yep. <laughs> Uh, cat. What K is home to Eldrad? <laughs> I'm sure Erica knows this one. <laughs> <laughs> you can't see her, but she's going to explode. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, this is one of those things where I should know, and I probably do in some level. Mm-hmm. But all I, I just every question I want to answer with chameleon because I know it starts with a K. <laughs> so don't start with a K. It does start with a K. That is even, correct. Even though you would think it would start with a C. Yeah. Um, and chameleon comes from crop tour. <laughs> it doesn't. Does chameleon ever disguise himself as a planet, though? That's the thing. Not that we know of, Not but there's probably of. fan fiction. Is mm-hmm. that a fat joke about King John? No, I just okay. chameleon can change himself into anything, apparently. Oh, well, King John and a robot. <laughs> it doesn't look very convincing, but. Uh, I'll, I'll, just, I'll just say Karn. I don't know. No. Erica? It's Castrio <laughs> with yes. a K, which is the name that Stephen and I gave our podcast service, but we changed it to a C to B. Go C for cast. C for cast, yeah. We literally went through every single Otherwise, Doctor Who story to I would, find out. I would have you would not no know? idea. Nope. Nope. No. So that's the only reason I know. Never was there a more perfect name. Yep. Mm-hmm. All right, Warren. Yes. What K is a character from the hourly telepress? The hourly Telepress. What the hell is he? <laughs> <He's a> character. <laughs> yep. I thought you said Owly, and I was thinking those adorable books, <laughs> the, the, books, the yeah, comics yeah. with no words. Yeah. Oh, they're so cute. Hourly. Hourly. Hourly telepress. telepress. Yep. What Ooh. character? Starting with a K. Ken Burns. <laughs> <laughs> I am the Crocus. This is from the Mind Robber. Uh, I figured it yeah. was from the Mind Robber, but I couldn't. Yeah. I couldn't figure Krakus. out. No, Crocus is a band. Yeah, Crocus <laughs> is a metal band from Canada. I think. Um, I think it starts with a C. Also, it does. Yeah. Yeah. does it? Wasn't it a flower? Uh, Oh. Call yourself yes. Canadian? What about Klaatu? That's another That's band. Okay. Klaatu brought it in. Be- yeah, people thought that Klaatu was the Beatles back in the 70s, believe it or not. Look it up. Um, I believe it. People yeah. in the 70s were. I know. <laughs> we'll find out with us in the uh, uh, the episode two of uh, series, <laughs> series one. True, yeah. <laughs> with the incorrect drum set. Um, <laughs> all right, Chris. Uh, medium question here. No, it's a hard run hard, of the hearts. Oh, yeah. my God. Oh. What K swallows a holy relic and becomes gigantic? Kroll. Kroll. How is that hard? Come How on. is that, that hard? That is not hard. I'm Be- sorry. I don't consider that hard. Because it assumes people have watched The Power of Kroll. And this, <laughs> this focus group here is not an accurate fo- focus it's group for most of Doctor Who I fandom. I mean, the character is in the title Isn't of the story. Right? I know. <laughs> well, I'll take the point and yeah, yeah take your point and, and be happy. Uh, Erica, what K is the constellation where Gallifrey is found? Casterbarus. Oh, I know. How that, is this? That is legitimately a hard question. Yeah. 
Is it? Most people would not know that. No. Even people who have watched a lot of classic Only Doctor Tom Who. Baker's Doctor, obviously. I'm from Gallifrey mm-hmm. and the Constellation of Casturbus. That's the only reason mm-hmm. it's so He says it knew who, though. Tennis yeah. it. He says yeah. it, it, it it's, still, it's still just like one, like kind of a throw-off line. It's not like it's repeated a whole bunch of times. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It, it shows isn't up, scrolling at the mm-hmm. beginning of Deadly It shows up yeah. in conventions a lot, though. I think you've gone to one convention. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kat, uh, what K is an aborigine who was kidnapped by Monarch? Oh, what's his name? Yeah, I don't know his name. <clears throat> <clears throat> this is me. <laughs> it's, it's not bygone not bygone i'm not going to guess a name all right for obvious reasons <laughs> thank you so much yeah, yeah. i'll just pass <laughs> pass our kakuchi is his name. Right. Kuchi. Yes, kuchi, yeah. Yeah. uh that that was where i first discovered the uh, didgeridoo was that episode i loved oh. it yeah mm. okay yeah that's he, he's, he does love to play Perhaps a cricket ball scene. one like, of our friends has one my and ride occasionally <laughs> busts it out <laughs> i'll play it for you later <laughs> It's carpet. Yeah, that can be our interval music. That can be the <laughs> interval music. Uh, Warren. Yes. Last question of this round. Okay. What K is the planet that hosts the Daleks Galactic Council meeting? What K? God. Yeah. Big that, council meeting. I, I know the council meeting because Andrew know. Mark Thompson has spoofed it mercilessly. Many, and endlessly. many times. Yep. But what is the name of the... Uh, uh-huh. Coquillium, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kemble. 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 Ah, damn it. Kemble. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. There we are. At least I recognized it. Mm-hmm. Uh, halftime. Halftime. Chris leads with nine. Erica has seven. Cat with three. Warren still with two. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Round six, uh, we're going to have some fun here. We're in the behind the scenes. So the last half of this quiz are all from the section called behind the scenes. I'd like to quote Lawrence Arabia. It is recognized you have a funny sense of fun. (laughs) (laughs) Here it is. So, yes, uh, identify the following directors from their initials. I'll give you a couple of initials. (laughs) F and (laughs) U. You'll find that uh, Philip Underling did not direct (laughs) Doctor Who. Are you ready, Chris? These are unique. These are all unique. So there's only one answer for each one, if you can believe it, despite how common they might sound. They are totally I don't believe it. Unique. All right. And I'm assuming it could be a given director has done a number of stories. Yeah, number of stories. Yeah. We're not doing the miniscope here. This could yeah, be okay. one. Yep. So here it is. Are you but ready? It could also be one offs, I assume. One offs. Yep. Sure. Let's try it out. Here we go. DC. DC. Douglas Camfield? Douglas Camfield. That is was the correct. one I was thinking of even before you said yeah. any letters, and now I'm out. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a deadly cross assassin. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, e L. E? E L. L. There's no context I'm whatsoever so, on these. None. None. I'm so bad at this type of thing. Um, mm-hmm. When it's Arity Lambert, duh. <laughs> I can't do, like, I can't do uh, anagrams. E L. I got it. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm gonna get it. No. No, Chris. What is it? Eros Lynn. Eros Lynn. Oh, oh yeah. sure. Yeah. See, I. I don't know if I will get any of these <laughs> unless I can think of a director's name ahead of time yep. and just bank I'm it. I'm pretty sure I like, won't either. Don't feel too bad about that. You know oh, what? Yeah. If we were if we were not playing this in person, I would be scribbling down as many yep. directors' names as I could think of <laughs> on a piece of paper. You still could. What the hell? <laughs> oh yeah. Make make no bones about this. I am here to torture all of you. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. No, we're well that has become that. very yeah. clear. And yet we still show up. What yep. the hell's going on? <laughs> well, yeah. I don't have a choice. Yeah. Good point. All right, Kat. You took vows to the fight. I know. <laughs> you signed up for this literally. As the only single <laughs> person, I'm also the stupidest one. <laughs> and we were all there as witnesses. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> all right, Kat. M E B. M E B. M E B. M E B. Stop that. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Not you, Erica, Chris. <laughs> I actually did make a move as well. <laughs> so <laughs> so did <I>. Warren. <laughs> um, no, I don't know. Erica? Michael E. Bryant. Michael yep. E. Bryant. I yep. only know that from I guarantee Steven. I'm going to get this one wrong because I knew that one. Oh, uh, here's <laughs> that a, is how it works. I hope this makes you feel uh, better or worse, Warren. I have to go to the back of the book to make oh, sure that, that is, I got Then I'm right totally here. screwed. So uh, just like, oh, maybe that'll be the one I you know. want you to get this more than ever mm-hmm. now oh, because too. I just want to show you know Stephen up. I'm glad I checked because there is a mistake. So I will read the actual okay. one. If I would have read it and not checked it, it would have been wrong. So okay. this, there was a mistake. W H. Mm-hmm. I know that one. Yeah, I know that one. Yep. Of course you do. Yeah. You all do mm. with me. I don't. W H. 
Oh, Waris Hussein. Waris Hussein. It says W S in the it's actual. Just, for some question. reason, I had William in my head. I'm like, no, oh, get William yeah, out of your head. Yeah. <laughs> I, kept, I, I kept thinking you William Hartnell. Yeah, yeah, like, yes, no, yeah. No. That, that's what, probably I, what I was getting at. I would not have gotten that. No. Nope. Mm. I this. I, my brain does not work that way. No. Well, <laughs> my brain doesn't work most of the time. <laughs> yeah. I did that one time. There, right there. Uh, you're gonna love yours, but first it's oh, Chris. Uh, <laughs> Spoilers. Yeah. Uh, Chris D Z. Jeez. Yeah, I know. Can't be that many Zeds. I don't even have to look, and I know which episode of this. David Zarby. Is. David Zarby. <laughs> Zarby. Oh, D Z. Zed. 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 One episode. I'll give you some hints if you need to. One episode. Modern Who. There you go. That doesn't help as I'll much throw, as I I'll might throw have in liked. hints for everyone. For, for I'll tell you, the, I'll tell you the era and how if mm-hmm. I can remember how many which episodes. Doctor? I, I can't tell you that. Much uh, <laughs> modern who one episode. Who one episode? Mm-hmm. Knowing that it's modern who in one episode tells me it may not even be your name I recognize. No, exactly. So I'm not going to worry about this mm-hmm. one. <laughs> yep. Um, DZ, Chris. If I take too much time, just tell me, but I'm going to the tank on this one. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's all right. Still got a lead in the game. I feel like it should be an easier answer because how many yeah. Z directors are there? Well, yeah. One story, though. One episode. <sighs> Definitely. Dweezil Zappa. I'm not going to get Dweezil Zappa is a good nice. guess. Nice. Uh, that's a great guess. Uh, but it's guess. Dan Zeff, director of uh, Love and Monsters. Again, um, yeah. I was right. I don't recognize yeah. that name. <laughs> All right. Since, All right. We're, yeah, since we're into medium, I'll tell you. Uh, mm-hmm. This director directed one story oh, great. from the classic series. Okay. T-D-V-C. <laughs> oh, my God. What? <laughs> T-D. Yep. V. I, I know th- I know this one. Well, TLDR probably... to that. Yeah. <laughs> T D D V C. V C. And this is something you, maybe you'll say it and I will recognize it. Mm-hmm. I thought that having more letters would be helpful because the M E B for Michael E. Bryan. I was right. like, oh yeah, but now there's too many letters. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope it's a pretentious name. It sounds T- like it is. Yeah. T- uh, uh, T- Topher <laughs> David- Popular Davis. 60s name Topher yeah. T- What was it again? T T D D V C Veril Kastenberg <laughs> Which might have been his real name But his uh, screen name was Tristan DeVere Cole Who directed <laughs> sure. The Wheel in Space He sounds uh, like he owns uh, a shop that one for I knew. like yeah. horse enthusiasts <laughs> you know does, Tristan DeVere Oh and I just have it uh, All right He's the neighbor on uh, All Creatures Great and Small Exactly yeah. Yes <laughs> Cat, uh, director of many modern Who episodes. It's great. T H. T H. Many episodes just Tom means that when Hiddleston. I don't know, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Tom Hiddleston, <laughs> unknown, unknown director. Tom Hardy. That's bait. <laughs> <laughs> Referencing knowledge. Um, Venom, right? You yes. really live in the darkness. I was born in it. They gotta do it right. <laughs> you T-H. merely adopted the dog. T H. T H. I don't know. It's not I don't La- know. It's not Lawrence. Uh, T H is Toby Haynes. Oh yes. Yep. Yeah. Uh, he of the uh, the fondly uh, looked after uh, looked at bum. At yeah. Yes, Eric I was just thinking. I remember his posterior. Uh, looked at <laughs> bum. Okay. I just kept thinking Toby Haydock, which I knew wasn't. No, he does, I fondly so looked at his bum, Bruce. <laughs> not not yet directed an episode of Doctor Who. Not yet. Doctor. Hopefully, you've in yep. time. <laughs> All right, Warren, are yes. you ready? Uh, no, but go for it. Here we go. One story, classic series. Oh, great. Okay. <laughs> LB. LB. <laughs> you can't see the faces I'm making. No, it's one of if definite certainty in, in the knowledge of this question. It is LB. exactly the opposite of that. LB Lawrence Bennett, Lovett Bickford. Ah, damn it! Director of the hmm. Leisure Hive. <laughs> At least I recognize the name. And then he was fired for, for over budget. Oh, that oh, I know. Yes. Yep. I know his name. All right, Chris, we're into the hard uh, yeah, modern series. Sure. S- several episodes. Modern series. Several episodes. So that's mini scope worthy. We'll even go past that. He's done at least three. I don't know how many else. All right. N H. N H. N H. N H. Mini stories, modern series. Yep. 
NH. No heckin' way would no, I know no, the no, answer no. to this one. My mind went to uh, Neil Patrick Harris for some reason, <laughs> but that's not right. Uh -uh. I went to, was it Niall Horan? No. Um, NH. NH. Nalo Hopkinson. That's a deliberate no. sop to you, Erica. <laughs> mm -hmm. I recognize that name. Also, the secret of NIM for some reason, because it's N-I-M-H. <laughs> no, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's fine. NH, Chris, what do you think? Uh, I know, right? This is, <laughs> this is why I'm asking. I find it fascinating question. that there are enough unique right? mm -hmm. sets of initials. We're all this, learning together. This without is... having to go to, like, Tristan <laughs> Dervais. You find it yeah. fascinating. Right. I find it irritating. Uh. <laughs> hey, a little from column A, a little from column B. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. N -H. N-H. N-H. Good need an answer, Chris. Oh, mm -hmm. pass. I'm not. Pass. No I, hell. I'm, no comma hell. Director <laughs> of, I think, at least what the, uh, the girl who ate it and indeed the day of the doctor, Nick Hurren. Oh, ah, Nick. Damn it. Oh, damn it. Oh, damn it. All right. Okay. All right. Yep. Sure. Erica, mm -hmm. uh, director of a couple of uh, Modern Who, I believe. Okay. Two episodes, I think, of Modern Who. Two ish. Yeah. Sure. FB. F F B B F B F B yep. freaking bastard. Yep. Um might only be one, possibly two. I know of one that this person directed. Fiona though. Borman. Uh Farron Blackburn. Oh, okay. Mm. I recognize that. Doctor Water Wardrobe. Yep, and I can't remember what other one he did, but uh Where did one That's more. a D, &D name. I don't think I like that one either. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I just yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Sharon Blackburn, if you're listening. Um, Kat, mm -hmm. this one, uh, one classic story. Yippee. Classic series story. Am I? <sighs> Your mission, M should you I. choose to accept <laughs> it? Am I? Mm -hmm. I don't know the answer to come up with the most hilarious name <laughs> that would right? work with those I initials. Think I know. Am I <laughs> going to recognize this? Probably not. Mm. We'll say it's Maury Ingberg. Maury <laughs> Ingberg. Mike, Michael Emerson? Michael Emerson or Imerson. Maury Ingberg, yeah. what do you want? I was going to say yeah. Michael Ironside. Right 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 right. Michael Ironside. All right, Warren, let's yes. wrap this the very roommates. easy one up. Uh, this director, one classic series story. Great, lovely, one. tip top. You're going right. to get this one. Are you ready? No, I'm not. All right. M O M. <laughs> Mom. She, she directed it. Yep. Wow. That sounds like a rejected boss or mm -hmm. a Wotan name. Right. Mm. Um, M O M. <sighs> I have no idea. I'm so evil. Go for it. Uh -huh. Chris, did you have a guess there? No. I'm trying to think of, like, if it's like an Irish, like, oh. That's what I was thinking uh, too, but I couldn't think of it anyway. Nope. Uh, director of one two part story from 1984, The Awakening, Michael Owen Morris. How the I hell would I know? I don't know where I was going to get that. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Chris and Warren got the only ones right in this whole one. So, the, mm -hmm. so Warren, you're up to three with Kat. Uh, Ray. has seven. Ty. Chris now has. Oh, I'm Jesus. coming for you, buddy. <laughs> Ten. Mm -hmm. uh, and round... I'm not going to get there, but I'm coming. <laughs> round seven. Oh, we're going to have fun oh, here. God. Here we go, kids. Well, that'd be a change. <laughs> yeah. I'm so evil. Uh, odd one out, too, is, is what this is in the book. Uh, these actors appeared in many episodes of Doctor Who, but which one of these stories did they not feature in? Just multiple choice? It is not. So uh, here's, what, here's how it's going to work. For instance, I will say Martin Jarvis, and then right. I list The Web Planet, Invasion of the Dinosaurs, The Stones of Blood, and Vengeance on Veros. And you have uh, to tell me. The Stones of Blood. The Stones of Blood is the one he was not in. Yeah. And that's okay. what I need. Okay, so it is multiple choice. But it is multiple yeah. choice. It is, yeah. I suppose that is multiple choice. Yeah. But yeah. not easy. Just not multiple easy. Choice. Multiple no. choice. So here's your, sure. here it is. Are you ready, Chris? Uh, sure. James Bree, The War Games, Colony in Space, Full Circle, The Ultimate Foe. Colony in Space. Colony in Space is correct. Wow. Erica? Yeah. Sonny Caldenez. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. At least the, I know who that is, sort the, of. The Evil of the Daleks, mm. The Tomb of the Cybermen, The Ice Warriors, The Seeds of Death. Um, I will say, what was the first two? Evil of the Daleks and Tomb of the Cybermen. I'll say Evil of the Daleks. Tomb mm. of the Cybermen. Is okay. The that was my next choice because I knew yeah. he did Ice Warrior. He played Kemmel in Evil of the Daleks and, of course, was oh. in every classic uh, Ice, ice Warrior story. I knew, I knew the Ice Warriors. Was, was he an Ice yeah. Warrior? 
Uh, yes, yeah. he was. He was. Okay. Yeah. he was also in um, what James Bond movie was it? Was it um, How the hell would I know? Man at the Golden Gun, I think. Yep. Yeah, sure. Uh, Although he <laughs> could have played Toberman in in Two Minutes Cyberman, were not for the person actually for played Roy him. Stewart, I think his yeah. name wasn't it? Yeah. Also in uh, Terror of the Autox. Terror of the Autox. See, Chris is trying to trying to impress us. Mm-hmm. Those, those, <laughs> those, are, those aren't ghost points. Yeah, those are ghost points. <laughs> Boast points, maybe. Yeah. Yep. You ready, Cat? Yeah. David Callings. Oh, yeah. Revenge of the Cybermen, <laughs> The Robots of Death, Modern Undead, The Twin Dilemma. One of those, David Callings, was not in. Modern Undead? No, he twin played dilemma. the titular Modern in Modern Undead. He was sure. not in twin the dilemma. Twin Dilemma. Yeah. I guess that because there's like five people in the Twin Dilemma. Yeah. Uh, so we're having fun on this one. At least I am. Um, uh, it's better than the director's it one. Yep. Is it? I'm not sure <laughs> it is. It's less annoying. Yep. At least this is one, it? you got a one in four chance. That's just true. a guess. That's a guess. <laughs> All right, Warren. All right. Bernard Horsefall. Okay. Mm. Uh, the Mind Robber. Okay. The War Games. Yeah. Planet of the Daleks. Yeah. Genesis of the Daleks. Genesis, because he's not in that. Correct. Correct. Mm-hmm. Correct. All right. I recognize my horse falls. Yep. <laughs> oh, yeah. We all recognize. He's also in a James Bond. Uh, Under Majesty's Secret Service? What are you pointing at me for? I have no idea. Or is and it? Also, no, it's for um, uh, for your eyes only. Also okay. supposed to supposed to have been a, a live show guest he's to Gallifrey. Be, he's he's almost, almost one of our live show guests. Yeah, yeah. And, and then he, he passed, that unfortunately. Sucks, yeah. Yeah. Uh, great, Chris. Here we are in the medium difficulty ones. Frederick Yeager. All right. Freddie Yeager. Yep. The Savages, Planet of Evil, The Invisible Enemy, Ark of Infinity. Ark of Infinity. Ark of Infinity is correct. Of course, plays... Um, of course. He plays Canine's uh, Professor Marius in yep. uh, The Don't Invisible Enemy. Of course. <laughs> are you and, ready and, for and the, Of course I am. And the, and the evil guy in Planet of Evil, yep. he's having to drink the, the stuff the to yep. stave off the change. Yep. Of course. And then he plays Jano in uh, The Savages. Do not of course. Invisible Enemy. I'm just putting but that out there right now. In, this this ba- this of category, course. Erica, is basically you and I after every Midsummer Murders episode, and we try to determine <laughs> which uh, thing he's been in. So of course. So if you've been listening to me, and I know you have, <laughs> of course, over the last seventeen <laughs> seasons of Midsummer Murders that we watched, you will know this. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tony Conter, obviously, you know this. Uh, I don't I've have re- to tell the, you who the this name is. does sound vaguely familiar. Uh, the Crusade, Colony in Space, Planet of Evil, Enlightenment. Planet of Evil. Planet of Evil. It, I'm just going to just double check this. I think you're right. Um, I think she's right. Think if I'm right, right, it's because I guessed, of course. Is it really? <laughs> Is it? Re- uh, sorry. I'm in there. Uh, odd man out. I just I lost my place. Odd I lost my ass. You are correct. Planet of Evil. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I've signed the pledge, he says to Turlo in Enlightenment. That's my most uh, memorable line of his. Well done. Well done on that. Thanks. I, well, I guess Great because guess. that's yeah. an episode I don't remember almost yeah. at all. That story. Uh, Kat, Sheila Dunn, The Daleks Master Plan, The Invasion, Inferno, Terror of the Zygons. Sheila this Dunn. category would be so much easier if it was just like The Doctor. Yeah. Like it's like Tom Baker. <laughs> which one, <laughs> which one was he in? That's the only way I would actually get this. Right. Um... Terror of the Zygons. Correct. Yay! That was a guess. Go cat. I was trying to think, what's the <laughs> most sexist episode? We yeah. wouldn't have women in it. So then you can well, figure what's going on. The, the second Doctor one that never got made about the, the women Prison running in oh, space. Yeah. 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 Good Good on Jacqueline Rayner, by the way, to include that all four of those stories were directed by her husband, Douglas Camfield, which is why she was in the first three. Oh, oh the actress's husband. Yeah, I was going to say Jacqueline Rayner's Rainer's husband. Yeah. 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 Sheila Dunn's husband. Yeah. Um, that makes sense. All right, Warren. Here okay. we go. Peter Halliday, The Invasion, The Face of Evil, City of Death, Remembrance of the Daleks. Peter Halliday. I'm going to say City of Death. No. Mm -hmm. No, damn it. Mm -hmm. He played the guard who applies the thumb screws to Tom Baker in City of Death. He was not in The Face of Evil. Okay. He, of course, was Mm Packer in uh, The Invasion. Yes, he was. Yeah. Tell me I'm a good boy. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) All right, are you ready, Chris? This is hard. This is the hard question. Here right, it is. Just wait, wait, wait. The screensaver, so I can sure this this mm-hmm. one. See the thing this again. one we could be tough people. for you. <laughs> so here is your question, Chris. Right. Christopher Burgess. <laughs> oh, oh that's one. I this one. I know. Did the, you pick this specifically for me? I'm not or saying just, <laughs> right. the enemy of the world. He was there. The invasion. 
Nope. Terror of the Autons, invasion, Planet invasion, of the invasion, Spider. Invasion, invasion, invasion. <laughs> there we go. Uh, Erica? That would have been a better question for somebody else. I, not I, I like me, because I, I actually knew that. Yeah. <laughs> We're having fun. We're having fun. Uh, so so far. Listen, when Erica Ensign, someone mm, named Erica Ensign appears true. in Doctor Who, then we can ask you that question. Okay, but well, I'll, I'll get right on that. Instead, you get Norman Jones. <laughs> Do I? The Abominable Snowman. Doctor Who and the Silurians, Robot, or <laughs> The Mask of Mandragora. Norman Jones. Robot. Correct. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. He, he, was, <laughs> he was also in, uh, as I'm just remembering James Bond appearances, he was in You Only Live Twice. Um, there you go. Mm-hmm. This is this is a bonus. You don't get this mm-hmm. on in the book. That's just me remembering actors who went James. <laughs> oh, is it a bonus it. though? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's <laughs> extra. Detriment. It is extra. Uh okay here. Are you ready, Kent? Yep. Okay. Paul Casey. <laughs> okay. Uh, current monster uh, coordinator, apparently. Yeah. That seems yeah. to be his full time gig also now. Inspiration for the puppet on Mr. Yeah. Dress Up. Well, he also worked on uh, Star Wars in some capacity as well. I think he did. Is this helping Cat anyway? Not yeah. really, no. because I had we'll three to four out. episodes. I mean, uh, of course. Yeah. She, she likes Star Wars. <laughs> Love and Monsters, Turn Left, Planet of the Dead, The Doctor, The Widow, and The Wardrobe. And this one's so tough. I am checking it. Uh, well, it's not like you see his face in anything. It's not like you see his face in any of these. Exactly. Yep. Love and monsters. One you have a who's monster. sleeping on top of the other one. It's just so darn cute. I know. <laughs> it's really cute. Kitty well, there's cat. two of them actually sleeping because. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yep. oh, can you up. repeat the stories? I sure can. Uh, it is Love and Monsters. No. Turn left. Planet of the Dead. The Doctor. The Widow. And the Wardrobe. So we've got, uh, what, uh, some Tenet in there and a, and a Matt Smith. Yeah, I'm stuck between two of them. Um, turn left. Is correct. Nice. Who's, yeah, he, love, who's he in Love and Monsters? There's barely anybody in turn left. I'm, a, I'm, thinking, a, I'm thinking he's got, he's got a, Peter K. No, you've got, the, there's a, a, a Scooby-Doo-esque monster thing that's chasing. Right. Right. Yeah, yeah, the Hoiks. Yeah. The Hoiks, yeah. yeah. yeah that's that. probably Paul Casey. Yeah. Yeah, that, I forgot about the Hoiks. Good call. All right. I also forgot about the Hoiks. Warren, this will be an easy one for him. Yeah, sure. Rex Robinson. Oh, yeah. Good name. The Three Doctors, <laughs> The Monster of Peladon, The Hand of Fear, Legopolis. Those are some solid stories. Damn. Right? Yeah. And I think he's the same kind of guy in all of them. Maybe. Can you, can you read that out again? Uh, three Doctors, okay. Monster of Peladon, Hand of Fear, Legopolis. Actually, Monster of Peladon, maybe not so great. I haven't seen it yet, so I don't know. Oh. I'm going to say... You're ready for a treat. <laughs> three Doctors. Nope, Legopolis. Legopolis. Damn it. Because was it wasn't directed choice. by Lenny Main. It wasn't directed by Lenny Main. Who was <laughs> L.M. Oh, well. <laughs> what an <laughs> amateurish, yeah. stupid stumble on my part. Yeah, he, Duh. Pl- he played uh, Dr. Tyler in The Three Doctors. He played Gebek, Gebek. in The Monster of Peladon. Yeah. And he played uh, the, the Eldrad Must Live guy who fell off the uh, oh, okay. gantry. Oh, I'm thinking of a different guy. I'm thinking of that. The guy who ran the plant in Hand of Fear. Almost that 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 is um, Glenn Houston. I you think just gets a gun out out of nowhere. Yeah, I know that's Glenn Houston, who was in The Awakening, directed by Michael Owen Morris. Isn't that great? Oh, look at this! Boy, that's oh, what we confused with Glenn Jones, who wrote and acted in the Doctor Who. <sighs> yes, you're all very clever, except mm-hmm. the three of us. Aren't so. <laughs> listening audience? Aren't you feeling so informed <laughs> by all uh-huh. this stuff? Uh, I'm feeling a little um, smug, a smug radiation, <laughs> if yes. such a thing a exists. Bit, yeah. Is, is it overpowering? I'm just watching kittens. And yeah, mm-hmm. kittens are distracting us from this. Uh, the score at the end of uh, of round seven: Chris has thirteen, Erica has nine, Cat with five, Warren with four. Three rounds to go. Here we go. Round eight. Mm. Missing episodes. Oh, oh God. boy! Come on! Uh, all questions here refer to the situation as of April 2014 with 97 missing. Yeah, but there still is 97. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, that we know of, uh, still missing. So the discovery of an episode or story is here dated to the year when, it, when the discovery was announced. So, for instance, I'm thinking uh, like Enemy and Web were found in 2011, but mm-hmm. their discovery wasn't announced until 2013. Yeah. So, okay, got it, got it. So that's, that's actually it. easier in quotes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Right, Chris, you ready? So, hmm? what, what's it asking here? Just ask me the question. I'll ask you the question. I'll, I'll figure it out. Yeah. Who was the photographer who produced the telesnaps? Uh, John Kira. John Kira. And that's the Kira. easy one, is it? That's the easy yeah. one. Okay. I Every, knew that. Yeah. Come but on, But that's Warren. not easy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Erica? Yes. There are three stories which have no surviving footage at all. Marco Polo and the Massacre are two. What is the third? 
Third story. No surviving. No surviving footage. moving footage at moving all. Footage. That being like an episode, I... a clip, miss any off camera, like off screen. Eight millimeter. None of that. No um, moving footage. You said what were the two that were listed? Marco Polo and the Massacre. Yellow Fever and How to Cure It. I'm gonna <laughs> say the Myth Makers. You were right with the lettering M. Oh. Uh, Mission to the Unknown. Uh, oh, hence the remake. The yeah. episode. The episode. <laughs> the yeah. Single, yeah. The story. Dalek cut. That's that's. I call, <laughs> I call shenanigans. Serial T slash A. Technically, it's a story. Technically, it's a story. Yeah, it is. There's only one episode. Cat, which producer of Black and White Doctor Who had no telesnaps taken during his time on the program? <laughs> Steven's only said this answer a hundred times in the lifespan of our events. I have no idea. No. No, I don't. John Wiles. John Wiles. No. I'm having fun. Mm. I hope you I'm are so too. happy for <laughs> you. Somebody Steve. wrote, the, somebody wrote, well, picked yep. these uh, <laughs> to, to amuse himself. Sure, listen. The, the, smug, the smug grin on Stephen's face is rather large. I will point out this. There is a, there is a, a question category on uh, production codes that I did not include because oh, that bless. is. I'm just going to look over at this series cruel. of books you haven't read yep. but intend to, <laughs> just to remind you. Way too cruel. Warren, here's yours. You ready? In which country was the tomb of the Cybermen discovered in 1991? Oh, Hong yeah. Kong. Hong Kong is correct. Hong Kong. That I didn't know. Thanks to KSPS mm. pledge breaks. Yep. Mm. Hong nice. Kong. Yep. Which I, is that a country? It, it was. was. But not anymore. Yeah. All right. On to the medium difficulty ones, Chris. All right. Four Patrick Troughton stories are completely missing, although all have some footage in existence. The Power of the Daleks, The Highlanders, and Fury from the Deep are three. What is the fourth? Completely missing, but with some footage in existence. Abominable Snowman? The Macro Terror. Macro Terror. Has the sensor mm. clips. It doesn't <laughs> exist. Yeah. It, <laughs> it doesn't exist. So there's that's no, so no such thing as the Macro Terror. <laughs> yeah. Yep, that's why they wiped it. Uh, Erica? Mm -hmm. Which companion or companions mm -hmm. features in more missing episodes than any other companion? Ooh, oh. that's a good question. Oh, that is a good question. Um, uh, boy. Mm -hmm. Victoria? Jamie. Mm -hmm. it, oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. Just I was, more missing. Oh, just yeah, I was sheer that. numbers. Yeah, because yeah. he yeah. was around for so long. Okay. Yeah. He's got a lot of episodes, mm -hmm. but he was in a lot of them as well. So Makes sense. Yeah. All right. Cat. Which companions have the greatest proportion of their episodes missing? And that's not the same as what you just asked? No. No. It's not. Which that's is the weird. Greatest proportion. So Jamie has the most. Okay. But he still is in a lot of episodes. Oh, I see. Gotcha. You know, so the percentage between episodes existing and, and missing is, okay. is the greatest for for these companions. These. So there's mm. a tie. Yeah. So you want two names? I want two names. Two names of companions. Ben and Polly? Ben and Polly is correct. Nice. Nice. Order of my guess. Yeah, yep, he's done. correct. All right, Warren. Okay. I'm fun? Nope. Good. <laughs> Not yet. Uh, Likely not at all. Which, uh, <laughs> what was the last story for which telesnaps are known to have been taken? I can tell you the episode that was the last oh, one God, too, Warren. I don't know. I know. I can be <laughs> smug about this. The Are Dominators? You? Oh, you're so close. Underwater Menace? It's the Mind Robber. It's the Mind oh, Robber. Oh. Episode three, I think it was the last one. Oh, well. Then he died, sadly, so Ooh. that's why they stopped. Because he died. <clears throat> All right, Chris. Nobody else knew how to use a camera. Nobody knows how to, <laughs> what do you do now. I mean, <laughs> he died. Which button? Uh, are you ready, Chris, for uh, your third round question? This is the hard, hard one. ones, this right? The hard one. Yeah. Sure. All right. Bring it on. Two episodes of which story were discovered in the basement of a Mormon church, previously a BBC ah. property? Oh, crap. I know this one. Oh. Mm -hmm. I sure don't. No. Oh. Yeah, it sounds familiar, but yeah, I don't know it. Mine's drawing a blank. Master plan. Ding. Wow. Yeah, I got yeah. it. Yeah. I never Dalek's, really got this. The Dalek's, Dalek's master, master plan. plan. Mm -hmm. yep. uh, Erica. Yep. Three actors played the character Malpha 
in Mission to the Unknown and the Daleks Master Plan. That is awesome. I did not know that. Wow. Which is the only one of whom there are no surviving in character <laughs> Come on. And this is medium, right? <laughs> this, this is hard. hard. This, is this is hard. hard. I guarantee you will not get this. <laughs> Wait, what is, what, are the, what is it asking for? There are three actors who played the character of okay. Malpha across Mission so to the Unknown. So they're asking for the name the of the name, actor? Yes, and is not multiple choice. Which one does not have any tell snaps of them? Crop tour. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Brian Mosley. <laughs> sure. That's a that's deep. That is that a is, deep. That is, that's the most the English name question. I've ever heard. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, 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 oh, wow. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you should be. I, I am genuinely You're not that sorry, sorry about that. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kat, mm. in what year did the official junkings stop? The official junkings. They, Ooh. Unofficial junkings. Unofficial carried on after that, apparently. Um... Thanks, Pamela and Ash. Mm. I'm going to say like a ludicrous amp- answer. Uh, 19. <laughs> trying to decide how ludicrous I want to go. All right. <laughs> um, 2000. 2005. They immediately jumped Rose. <laughs> yeah. uh, 1975. 1978. Oh, <sighs> Actually, the year they stopped. Yeah, wow. that late. That late for yep. the official. Wow, the official okay. one. Yeah, that was when Ian Levine went and visited. And says, "What are you doing?" Mm. I, I His last act of good is <laughs> one and only. Yeah. All right, Warren. Last okay. one in the whole category here. What is the only missing episode for which telesnaps are known to have been taken, but which no longer exist? The only missing episode. Telesnaps were taken, but we don't know where they are. Oh, yeah. Have they checked on the back of the couch? Uh, well, maybe not. Marco I don't know. Polo. Look behind the refrigerator. You no. know what, Warren? I'm going to give it to you. No. The Wall of Lies, episode four of the of Marco Polo. Oh, okay. The, sure. The, fair the enough. One, yes. The one not directed by Wars Hussein. It was directed by what? I knew we had color photos, but that's not the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because it said episode and it wasn't, mm-hmm. I wasn't clear about saying. Oh, I've, how the hell am I supposed to know Individual that? episode title exactly. So Oof. You got the point. Yeah. yeah. I'm, not, I'm not going to lawyer myself out of this. No. <laughs> you got the point. All right. Uh, we're on to the penultimate round in this one. It's Credit Crunch. Credit <laughs> Don't know what crunch. it means, but I like the title. It's about yep. budgets. I would eat a cereal budget. called oh, Credit no. Crunch. It's, yeah. about, it's about budgets of Doctor Who. Oh, individual. Oh, it's oh, not. It's not. It's not. Okay. It's about credits. Or, or is it? It's not. No. What was the first modern Who story to have their credits crunched into That's a small, exactly what I was thinking. small yeah. square <laughs> on the, on the side the of the star corner beast of the window. On Disney Plus. Who was executed for this crime? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one, sadly. Um, Yet. Here we go, Chris. Credit crunch. It's about credits. Which is the really? o- yeah. Which is the only story to feature the credit Doctor Who, Peter Davison. Hmm. Only story. I'm not gonna get As any of these. The Doctor Peter Davison. Cash or Valva. You are wrong. It's Scopolis. At the oh. end of it, it's Doctor Who. Oh. oh. Yeah, I guess no. he would have been credited in that. that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ghost Dang, point that for was close, yeah, It's the only one that. I knew. Yep. Okay. There we go. Mm-hmm. Which story features the credit? The BBC wished to acknowledge the help given to them by the Royal Navy in the making of this program. Oh, that one I know. The Sea Devils. The sea yeah. Devils. Okay, I, I, I was wrong. I, I did get one of these. There we go. God. <laughs> Thank you for your help, Royal <laughs> Navy. You barely adopted the dog. <laughs> Cat? Mm-hmm. Which story features a credit for insect movement? <laughs> <laughs> Which story? Um, oh, this is annoying. Mm-hmm. It's Web of Fear? Web Planet. Ah, <laughs> knew it was one of the two. Mm-hmm. Rosalind de Winter. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Everyone knows that. Only all nerds know that. That's why it's in the credits for every RFS live show. Yeah, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Along with the Lionheart end thingy. Yeah. Warren? Yeah. What was the last story to credit Jenna Coleman as Jenna Louise Coleman? Oh, um, that's a good one. Uh-huh. Uh, that's a good one. Yeah. I'm going to say it's probably a Matt Smith one. Well, it would have to be because they don't cover Capaldi. Um, that's right. Do, 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 do. Good logicing there, Warren. Well mm-hmm. done. Well, that's really rudimentary logic in yeah, my well, part, but okay. Well, it's pretty good uh, for you. Though. Let's see here. Mm-hmm. Jenna Louise Coleman dropped the Louise. Just I'm just saying things while you think. It's I know. Funny, it's, yeah. it's, it's all good. It's all good. No, it's not great. Um, 
I had a band. I had, well, I do have the Bells of Saint John. I uh, know. Uh, Snowman. Name of the Doctor. That, oh damn it! Really? Wow. Yeah, that that was, yeah. okay. That's gonna be my guess. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. First one was uh, Day of the Doctor. Well, so. what she mm-hmm. did, she did for peace and justice, or whatever it is he says. <laughs> Sanity. Sanity. Yeah. All right, Chris. Which story features the credit? The BBC wish to acknowledge the help given to them by the Ministry of Defence in the making of this program. I'm so glad my question was first. If I would have gotten this first, I'd have gotten it wrong because I would have said the Sea Devils. Ministry of Defense. Ministry of Defense. Yep. Although maybe it is the Sea Devils. <laughs> no, it's not. That would okay. be crazy if they just think like both of them. Everyone. Like should, we're thinking everyone, just in case. Thanks, All the, the departments. Yep. <laughs> Thank you. The Ministry of Defense, the Army. Don't forget to tell it to the Marines. Well, I think I know what this one is for a very obscure reason. Oh, mm-hmm. I could be wrong about that. I'll forward. throw to you when I get it wrong. Yeah. <laughs> um, Which will be when, I wonder. When will it be, Chris? Ministry of Defense. Wrong. Ministry of Defense. M-O-D. Yeah. Not M-O-M. Not M-O-M. No, not not M-O-M. No Michael Owen Morris. He did not. Uh, spoiler alert. It's not The Awakening. He didn't direct it. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ministry of Defense. I'm not sure. Claws of Axos. Uh, no. What was your My probably. guess was Pyramid to Mars because they blew up what they thought, what people thought was a uh, military installation, but it wasn't. No. Maybe no, wrong. on the demons, they thought they blew up a church. Oh, as okay. Well. That's yeah. okay, that's no. what I'm thinking of. You're all wrong and you're even more way off. It's the invasion. Oh. Is that really? The invasion. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's okay. Invasion. All the soldiers. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. Sure. That makes sense. Well, that's way off. Yep. Right. You were warm. That's all right. You can get, you can get your own uh, credit way off. Uh, you know what? It's, I'm, I'm fine with being yeah. way off. Uh, Erica, yep. an episode of which story features a credit for Yates Guard? Yate apostrophe S Guard. So it's a mistake. Yates Guard. Oh. Yeah. Um, uh, invasion of the Dinosaurs? The Green Death. Spoilers for the Green Death when oh. we get to it. Okay. Yep. <laughs> yep. Great guess, though. That's a very yeah. good guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm proud of it because I haven't actually haven't, seen that story, seen that but one. I know yep. enough about it to have mm-hmm. guessed. Amazing effects. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. I look forward to it. Cat, mm-hmm. what is John Hurt credited as for the Day of the Doctor? I know. Think about this, don't you? Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Presumably not the War Doctor. Or is it? Or is it? Or is it? It's trying to trick you. Or is it? I can't tell. She knew this one. Yeah. <laughs> John Hurt was in Heaven's Gate. Uh, it was a scandal, an <laughs> underrated film. Yeah, I love scandal with uh, Joanna Wally Kilmer. Yeah, no, not about the cult. No, oh. it's about uh, the Profuma affair. Profumo affair. Profumo. Thank you. Ian affair. McKellen's in it as a straight man. Good. Wow, it's the greatest. <laughs> actor. I mean, he did a lot of that in his younger, <laughs> young, younger years. Yeah. So. I'm going to say the War Doctor. The Doctor. The Just Doctor. The Doctor. Because they have a big block of them all, and he's yeah. in them right there yeah. between in there. Oh. Eccleston yeah. and uh, what's his name? Tenant. Oh, Tenant. <laughs> no, no, Eccleston and Eight. I can't remember his name. Again, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. in the credits, though. Yeah, I'm not talking about the like the lineup photo. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. Whatever. Uh, here you go, Warren. You'll know this one. Yeah. Uh, which story features a credit for Murphy Grun Bar rather than Murphy Grum Bar? <laughs> I can make a guess. Wow. <laughs> Grum, Murphy Grum Bar had his name misspelled in the credits of of which story? Christopher Burgess never had his never name. Never did. His name <laughs> no. Never. No. Murphy Grum Bar. What Murphy a stupid Grumbar. name. Yeah. <laughs> He was a Dalek operator. I'll give you that. Wow, that's a, that's oh, a big hint. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It narrows it down a lot. Yeah. Asylum of the Daleks. I no, idea. death to the okay. Daleks. Mm. The Grumbar. Yes, death to them indeed. Yep, <laughs> death to them indeed. All right, last round of this one. Mm-hmm. Uh, what actor's first name, Chris, is misspelt in the broadcast credits to episodes one and two of Ghost Light? So it's been fixed in the subsequent um, DVD releases. Which actor? Has their name misspelled? I can't think of any actor, actual actor names in the story, so I pass. Pass. Catherine Schlesinger. Sure. Mm. Also, Ghostlight devotees would insist that was all part of the story. You just don't <laughs> understand because you yeah. didn't read the novelization. <laughs> it's one of the most it's, important parts of the story. Yeah, it's all explained. Andrew Cartmell has a whole DVD extra about why they misspelled their name in the credits. You people are mm-hmm. stupid. That's why you don't get part it. Part of mm-hmm. his plan. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, are you ready, Erica? Not really, but go. Which, <laughs> which story features a credit for Hero Pig? Hero oh. Pig? Hero Pig. And there's like a space in between hero yep. and hero pig. pig. Yep. Two oh, words. That... What story? Yeah. What story? Yep. 
hero pick? Um, I don't actually know, mm-hmm. so I will guess Aliens of London. That'd be my guess. No. Not it? Daleks in Manhattan. Yeah, of course. That's, oh, of course it is. Yeah. Um, incredible pigs. pigs in that one. Because he probably wasn't named Laszlo oh, in the Laszlo. first one. <laughs> yeah. Hero pig. Hmm. There you go. Sure. Are we having fun? Great We're guess. learning. That's a great yeah, guess. Yeah, good though. guess. It's a big one. It is. Guess. Thank you. Cat, yeah. uh, mm-hmm. which story features a credit for Kit with two T's, Kit Peddler, rather than Kit Peddler? <laughs> Spelling mistakes. We're into spelling mistakes here. Mm-hmm. Yep. Watch Love those it. threads closely. Yeah. Dredging, Obviously it's dredging the, the bottom of the ocean crossing. on this one. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, Misspelled. Misspelled his name in the credits. How dare they? Yeah. Rude. It's, it's so heinous I can't even think of I the know. episode that it happened. Just yeah. <laughs> blocked it out of my mind. You're you should so see her right face. Yeah. So she angry. is just she so is incandescent. There's actually yeah. steam coming out of her ears. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. All I can think of is the Star Wars kit. I was thinking, like, if you were watching, Different like, Knight Rider. Kit Fisto? Oh, yeah. yeah. The yeah, unfortunately right. named Kit Fisto. <laughs> 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 Whereas I'm picking Kit from Knight Rider. Knight Rider. So, yeah, yeah. I also thought of that. Yeah, they yeah. would never spell, spell the car's name wrong. No. Mm-mm. I mean, if he was a car salesman who sold that kind of car, then he would be a Kit Peddler. Peddler. Clap, clap, That is, that's a good one. I don't know, so I'm going to say something ludicrous in hopes of making someone angry. Okay. I'm going to say Inferno. No, <laughs> I'm so furious right now. For Kit Peddler, I mean, a, a Cyberman story would be the. I know that's assumption. why I picked Inferno. Oh, it's not. Right. Crazy, oh, it's a, a tenth planet. Tenth mm. planet. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. crazy ones. All right, Warren, you ready? Last uh, one. Sure. Last one of the credit crunch round. Okay. Which is the only fourth Doctor story to call its episodes episodes rather than parts? Oh damn it! Yeah. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. <sighs> Uh, you had seven years to pick through in your yep. brain here. Oh my god! You decided Episodes for for this for this one story. What did we just call? Well, how did we do this? Do you remember? Was it episodes or parts? Uh, it's episodes. No, it's wrong. It's parts. Let's change it back. One story. Can you remember? Face Warren? of Evil. I don't know. No, Destiny of the Daleks. Ah, damn it. Was episodes. Wow. Yep. All right. Last round, we're almost done. We're almost through this for another six months. It's almost <laughs> over. It's all right. Wait, we have to do this in another six months? Yeah, that's a Guaranteed. <laughs> Guaranteed. Uh, this one's the voice. Uh, some characters or creatures I watch that show. has been provided by voice artists. So a note that the actors may have played other roles in Doctor Who, but these were the, for their voice only performances. So before who- we start the questions, what's the score? I'm not going to tell you. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do it's I need a, to get any right to win? It's a surprise. That's why I'm keeping it for people <laughs> so that you don't know no game how game. much is on yeah. the line. Mm-hmm. It's like late in the missing vowels. Well, I'm screwed. I know yeah. that. So. Yeah. Uh, or I tell you what, we could make uh, each of these uh, worth eight points each. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not. We won't. I hate when games do that. Yeah, I know. But, We're not going to do that here. Good. We play by the rules. Thank you. Uh, as like determined the by British me. panel show hypothetical. Yeah. They do that. It annoys me. Uh, mm. Are you ready, Chris? Uh, uh, I'm sure. Who, yeah. or, who or what was given voice by David Brierley? David Brierley was canine. David Brierley was season seventeen specifically. Was specifically. indeed canine. You only had to say canine. You don't get extra points. I knew you that know. one. Yeah. Well, let's see if You'll you know, know this one. one too. Then mm, we'll see. Uh, because I don't think I do. <laughs> Great. Oh, yeah, that's a <laughs> now good start. I'm in trouble. Struin Roger. Struin. Struin. Please spell that for S-T-R-U-A-N. me. S T R U A N. U A N. Roger. R O D G E R. I wasn't picturing. I only know that because I have a, a sort of a step relative called Struin. Oh, uh, okay. You yelled that when you stubbed your toe. <laughs> yeah. Struin Roger. Yeah. And he comes um, running in the room. Yeah. <laughs> what? What do you want? I am going to say. Let's see. This is a a voice character, uh, mm-hmm. Erato. No, face of Bo. The face oh, wow. of Bo. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, Roger. You are not alone. You are not said by alone. Yep. Uh, Kat, Nobody else could do that good of a job. No. <laughs> uh, Zoe Wanamaker. Ah. Who did Zoe Wanamaker do the voice of? Uh. I know. This is supposed to be easy. Yeah. 
Yeah. And <laughs> just imagine how bad it's going to get. Zoe yeah. Wanamaker. Apparently Zoe Wanamaker was in a Harry Potter Wait, movie Wait, Strew and Rogers is easy? <laughs> Strew and Roger was apparently easy, and okay. I don't understand that either. Zoe Wanamaker sure. played the Quidditch coach in sure. the first one? Sure. Don't first, care. First, yeah. first Harry Potter No, film. no, I want to know this, because yeah. I know the name, but I can't picture the face. And if I can picture the face, I can picture well, the voice. I, Zoe Wanamaker only has their voice featured in the yeah. Yeah, but in Doctor Who. Not, Kat not, just said. I know, if I can pick, if I can see uh, the face, I can picture the vo- voice. Mm. Which makes sense in my head, but fair enough. Um, I get it. Yep. Um, I want to say it was the. the hell are you whistling? Cat. I'm humming the music as that was introduced <laughs> this person when uh, on the yeah. episode of Doctor Who. But there, on. it's a musical hint. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. not well, not helpful help. to me, no, but it's well, no, been helpful. <gasps> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, now I'm no. starting to get it. No, I pass because it's making it worse. Uh, <laughs> Cassandra. Cassandra. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Really? From the end of the world. And yeah, later. That's the shower yeah. music. Yeah. She used to be a boy. sprayed with the yeah, okay. decontaminant. Yep. <laughs> Are you ready? No. Warren? But go for it. Sir Ian McKellen. Oh, uh,. The great intelligence. The great intelligence. That is one correct. was easy. That's that easy. I don't care. <laughs> Finally, it's about time. Yeah. No, and, I'm saying that's good that it like it yeah. fits in the category he, as opposed yeah. to. He played a straight great intelligence as well. No, we great don't know that. Gay as hell. Yeah. Uh, Chris Maureen Morris. Maureen Morris. I don't know that one. Um, it's a woman, so that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It does narrow it down a it lot in Doctor Who. <laughs> yep. Uh, it should narrow it down, shouldn't yeah, it? Mm-hmm. You'd think that, wouldn't you? Yeah, Maureen Morris. I'm not saying narrowing it down actually makes it any easier, though. No, true. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Maureen, um, Morris. Maureen Morris. I like the alliteration. Maureen Morris. Yep. yep. And it could be like a computer voice or yeah. something, Insect not, not talking a character by. voice. Hopefully she drove a Morris <laughs> Mini. That would be kind of cool. <laughs> and as a Morris dancer. Oh, yeah. A Morris <laughs> dancer, too. Yeah. yeah. Maureen Morris. Chris, what do you think? Um... Mm-hmm. Maureen Morris. Momo. Give us an answer there, Mom. Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Owen Morris. <laughs> Father Michael or son, Maureen Morris. Of Maureen Morris, <laughs> who did the voice of the Gorgon. All praise to the Great One. Ah, um, of the spiders. Oh yeah. right. wow. Okay, Erica. Mm-hmm. Apparently, you need to know the answer. What this um, one is? It's the voice. Here it is. Your mm-hmm. question, Robert Cartland. Oh God, Robert Cartland. Who are all these random dudes and ladies? I know. Um. Robert Cartland. I knew this and then I had to think about it. It says, oh yeah, that was it. Mm, good. Sounds it. like for you. Um, the Neil Pert of <laughs> <laughs> Robert <laughs> Cartland, yep. Robert <laughs> Cartland voiced. Um, I'll say the great intelligence, Mark One. <laughs> no. Uh, the Rill in Galaxy 4. Oh. Yep. Okay. Come on, Erica. Duh. Duh. Yeah, wow. Don't wow. you know this? I'm letting y'all down. Cat. Mm. Gerald Taylor. <laughs> Gerald Taylor. I'm all excited for a second. I thought you were going to say Gerald Flood. Yeah, I no. Me <laughs> Sorry. That's what I would know. Yeah. In the zeitgeist, Gerald Flood is obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gerald Taylor, though. Gerald Taylor. Gerald Taylor. I'm going to say mm-hmm. the voice of. Uh huh. computer we don't see on screen that was okay. cut all right <laughs> that's it yeah well, you're Call close mom. you were close with the, with the computer okay doc, doc. Uh, Ooh, Botan. i thought of that and then thought no i would remember the name quiet. better that's right it's a really generic name just it is. a generic mm-hmm. british mm-hmm. gerald taylor warren you'll get this one easy sure this is, mm-hmm. uh, this is just a slam dunk for you uh-huh. as he has to check the back yeah. of the book to make sure yeah. he knows the answer <laughs> Tell you what, That's I how reckon, much of a slam dunk it is. I recognize this actor's name from an episode of Robin of Sherwood. This does not help me at all. No. Mm-hmm. David DeKaiser. David DeKaiser. Not to be confused with David DeCovney. That's exactly not, what not, I thought. Not, not mm-hmm. David DeCovney. So who did he voice? Yeah, who did he voice? Yeah. David DeKaiser. Don't you know? Voiced. Don't you know this? 
apparently not. Come on, Warren. You know this. Boss. I David DeKaiser stole their word for 20. Yeah. <laughs> the Atraxi. We already had it. We had a oh. clue about that. Now you know. Oh, aren't I a stupid yeah, yeah, you right? should have paid attention and thought, you know what? I, I should well, have thought that's where you're about... wrong in the first place. I should not have paid attention. <laughs> Truth. All right. Last, qu- last round of the entire game. Mm-hmm. The entire game depends on the these answers. I suspect it does not, for right sure. Here. <laughs> so I'm going to ask you this, Chris. Heron Karvik. <laughs> Heron Karvik. That is a are Game you, of Thrones are you choking? minor <laughs> function. Sounds like a threat. <laughs> Heron Karvik. <laughs> it does. Come Uncle bless you. Karvik. Yeah. Some Latin name for a murder yeah. charge. It's Cockney slang for sl- yep. slashing in the belly. <laughs> Can you name what creature or voice thing was voiced by Heron Karvik. You no. were going to kick yourself when you don't get this. I, <laughs> repeatedly. And, yeah. Oh, hard. Yeah. Um, you are. Boss. Morpho. What the heck is Morpho? <laughs> Who the hell is Morpho? I don't remember that. I think they're the jarred creatures from the Keys of Marinus. How did you not know that? Everyone knows the Apathy. entire Two hung up on David DeKaiser. Keys of mm-hmm. Marinus. Are Two you... hung up on David DeKaiser. Mm-hmm. Are you ready, Erica? No. Nope. We're having a great time uh-huh. here. <laughs> Noah Johnson. It's another just real... That's a joke name. Run-of-the-mill yeah. name. These are Noah all names you call Noah Mo about. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. And then he gets mad and says, put uh-huh. dog down your throat. Noah Johnson. Amanda um, Hug and Kiss. <laughs> Noah Johnson. How about... Um, I love that I'm giving no The voice to this. of that snake person snake that person. rode around on a hoverboard. Oh, as played by... Is that Jamie Reed Jamie Coral? Reed Jamie Reed Coral did the motion uh, for it. I have yeah. no idea if yeah. he did the voice Snake motion by Jamie I think he did. I have four words for you. Oh, God. This four? Is, yeah. Well, this isn't the actual mm-hmm. question to you. Mm-hmm. Are you my mummy? The empty child. Oh. Yeah. Played the okay. channel. There you go. How about that? Apparently he did the voice for the kid, but not the uh, the kid did the But the, the kid, voice. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't the kid. Well, he wouldn't have actually been able to hear the kid yeah. through that mask, so. <laughs> <laughs> Just muffled. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is the hardest category. I cannot believe I put this in. I really am genuinely sorry, but we're going to just have to get through this. Uh, two, Kat, two to go. Are you ready? Christine Pollan. <laughs> P-O-L-L-O-N. Who did who did you voice? Yeah, these are definitely not real names. No. I apologize to these people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But they're not real names. Yeah. Um, hmm. I have no idea. Yeah. No, no would I. But, I wouldn't have done this either. Uh-huh. So the listener is interested. Sure. I will say that Peter Serafinowitz did the voice for Darth Maul. <laughs> That's true. That's but just, Ray Park did yeah. the body. Yeah. But mm-hmm. Ray Park did the, did yeah. the mm-hmm. body. Uh-huh. So yeah, so I have no idea. No, uh, Peter Sinner. <laughs> I think Peter Sinner Finnis did a voice in Doctor Who too. Yes, yeah, he, he did. did. He's also in a recent "What If?" dot 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 question mark. Mm. Is he yeah. really? Yes, he is. Yeah. Oh, he's also, of course, one of the key contributors to "Look Around You," one of the great, which is very, and his sketch show is very, very funny. Yeah, uh, but he did not voice the Oracle in uh, Underworld, the greatest ah! Doctor Who story <laughs> ever made. Excuse me. Not true. <laughs> Warren, it all comes down to you. Well, Answer this question and you will win the game. Uh, <laughs> sure, whatever you say. Get it wrong and you won't. That I believe. Okay. <laughs> Terry Bale. Terry that Bale. That name actually sounds familiar. Terry does it? But it's, I, but it's not linked to anything in my brain. <laughs> Terry Bale. A, a war machine. No. It's your favorite character ever. It's Arcturus. Oh, damn it. I do love Arcturus. <laughs> you do love Arcturus. <laughs> His angry, leaky yep. yelling. He's great. Oh, uh, well. We had fun, didn't we? We no, had a we lot did of not. fun. Uh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, fun. We'll go back yeah. to the director's round. <laughs> F you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, He's the winner, probably. Cat uh, finished with six. Warren, you managed to get into second last. Oh, well done God. with seven. Uh, Erica got 10. Chris. Third time champion with mm-hmm. Jacqueline Rainers, but Jacqueline Rainers is gonna have to write a new book so you can she can attest to you. You got sixteen to win wow. this Hooray. version. Your regular yes. Arcturus. I feel like I feel like every time we play this, it's just it's a battle for second place. Really, it is. I suppose. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yep. Maybe maybe and I'll, second last. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we'll Too have to... much now, useless stuff up in the actually, brain. At this point, all three of the rest of us have right. taken a turn being last. That's so, true. Yeah. My problem is I have other useless stuff in my brain. Right? Yeah, me too. I have other fandoms that are taking yeah. up like, I have space. a lot of garbage mm-hmm. up here. It's not all Doctor Who. Yeah. Well, but well, it's all garbage, for yeah, sure. Well, find <laughs> another podcast to do that trivia, because I, this is... That, that sounds like a threat and right. a dare. <laughs> it does, it does, 
Well, thanks for flying all the way out here for this, Warren. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing like public humiliation. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, all right, that's it. Uh, that's it for this uh, week and this year. Happy 2024, everyone! By the time you listen to this, probably is coming out on New Year's Eve. Uh, we'll be back next week with a regular episode that will feature no trivia. Uh, I don't believe you at all. <laughs> Thank God. Oh, it'll feature trivia yeah. in some oh, capacity, yeah. I'm some sure. Ways. The news yeah. list, entirety. entirety. Will be trivia. Yeah, we'll catch up on some news lists. Uh, and next some week. extra stats, I hope. Oh, mm. there'll be stats. There'll be stats. Yeah, all right. too bad. Uh, until next time, I am Stephen at Edmonton. Warren at Edmonton. Chris in Edmonton. Kat in Edmonton. And Erica in Edmonton. So long for now. Oh,